You know, Matthew 18, 19 says, wherever two agree, right? right. It shall be established by who? By God. By God. So we're in agreement, right, saints? We're in agreement about what God's about to do today. Because when you stand in agreement, God moves. Amen? Amen. And saints, I want to share something with you. Some say, some say don't come to this church because it's not the truth. But I'm telling you right now, the truth is here. And those who say it, come on down. Because God's love is here, saints. I know, I don't even have to have a show of hands because I know my Father. That every one of you that comes in here, you feel His presence. You know God is real. And when you leave here, you're not the same. You're better. And that's what God does. And so, I'm sharing this with you, saints, by the Spirit of God. When they say no, then you know it's right. Because if God is doing something in your life, and He's the one we answer to, amen? And you keep coming. Because God sets the captives free when we're here. I don't know about you, but I used to be. I, there's still stuff God, to do in my, God still has to do in my life. But I tell you right, he set me free. And the Bible says today where two or three are gathered in his name, there he is in their midst, right? And they, Matthew 18, whatever we ask the Father, he's going to do. Amen? And so I want to share with you earlier this week, God, were, God quickened my mind. Because, saints, everything that... And we talk about this in this ministry. Everything that we talk about here, four for us, one for you, right? And so earlier this week, God gave me this this teaching. And the title of this teaching is Mental Healing, Burdens Released. Now, we all got mental stuff going on, right? And we're going to, there's two categories here. And God, we're going to be talking about both categories but God wants you to know this saints right now because you were born again you're free you're free free indeed but how many of us know sometimes things come up right they come up in our lives right and we know it's the word of God that will set us free from that because it's the word of God that created us when God spoke life he spoke his word into us he breathed life into us and so we became a living being and the bio and 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 this body has to obey the Word of God because it was the Word of God that created it. So when you pray, when you pray in the name of Jesus, after you pray, tell this body. See, now body, you heard the Word of God. It was the Word of God that created you, so you need to listen to the Word of God. So now body, you heard the Word of God's being spoken to this part wherever you're praying. So I command you in Jesus' name to act healed, to feel healed, because you are healed. The body has to obey the word of God, saints. But like, like Pastor Mary is saying, we, if, if we want it, we got to say it. We got to say the word of God. God even said it in Genesis. It said, and God said. We had, a, we had an awesome uh, minister's meeting here today. But Apostle Michael brought that forth. That God said. God said. God said. And the Holy Spirit came and did it. Now, where's the Holy Spirit now? He dwells within us. So when we speak God's word and we say God's word, it's going to happen, saints. God wants you to know who the, who the Lord sets free is free indeed. Amen. And I want to read to you in, chapter, in, in Isaiah 61. We're going, to, we're going to start this right now because God's going to do something, saints, right now. We're all going to be participants of what God's about to do. Isaiah 61 says, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor, to heal... He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prisons to those that are bound. Verse 2, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn and to console all those who mourn in Zion. Amen. And saints, verse 1 says to proclaim liberty to the captives. A captive is a prisoner. Is somebody who's bound. And remember, we're talking about mental, a mental healing here. Verse 3 talks about to comfort all who mourn. When God speaks about comforting here, he talk, he speaks, he's speaking about a relief. He's speaking about a refreshing. And so today, saints, God wants us to know in John 8, 36, Therefore, if the Son makes you free, you shall be free in Jesus' name. Amen? You shall be free indeed. 
you will have a sound mind and a clear thinking mind. Amen. Who wants that? I know I do. Amen. And so, you know, I was, I was doing some studying on this word mental and this word, the word mental, because God says that today he's doing a mental healing and he's doing, and then burdens are going to be released. You know, sometimes we just pick up stuff, saints, and God's just going to release us from all that. That word mental means a mental illness, a person who is mentally ill, meaning insane. Now, we know that when a person's like that, that his mind is tormented, and that's the works of the enemy, amen? So that is one category God's talking about when he talks about a mental healing coming. God's about to heal those that their minds are tormented, that, they're, that they can't restrain themselves, and we know all about that, saints. But God wants you to know there's also another mental healing God is doing, and this mental healing God is talking about is relieving from stress, he said, well, bro, I didn't know it was a mental. Well, we're going we're gonna to break it down and we're going to see. And, and we're going to realize, hey, wait a minute. That is happening with me. What stress is. Now, come on. If the enemy can come at it and it don't start, he just starts with little things. And then all of a sudden, a sound makes you jump. But I want to share something with you right now since you're already free. But see, when you come into the knowledge of something, the enemy has to flee. You're going to come into that knowledge how powerful stress is if we don't deal with it right away. See, Jesus already made a way. The Bible, we, were, we were saying it. He's the way maker, the miracle worker, the promise keeper. He's light in darkness. And when the light comes, there's no darkness. So the knowledge you're going to get today, God's going to show you. But see, God's going to show you how to maintain your healing and your victory. And so as we read on, just be encouraged that God already knows all about it, saints. And just because you, just because you, see, we're born again, but, and I'm going to raise my hand first. We act up sometimes. And many times after that, the Holy Spirit tells me, that's not you. That's not who you are. And I thank God for that word in 1 John 1, 9, that if we repent and ask for forgiveness, he cleanses us. Man, I know that scripture well. But saints, imagine if I didn't say those scriptures. Imagine if I didn't repent and I just left that attitude that way. So just because we have an attitude, just because things happen, saints, doesn't mean we can't serve God or we're not serving God or we're not born again. The word of God puts us back into line. And the purpose that God wants us back into line so that we can see strain and we can see the souls that need help too. Because we need to strengthen one another. We, we're not, I, I heard this mighty man of God, Manuel, uh, Pastor Manuel Herrera, say one time, he goes, we don't do life alone. We don't. We do it together, saints. We encourage one another. We lift one another. And so, let's, uh, so a mental healing is about relieving stress. The spirit of stress is attacking all people, even God's people. But today, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the way maker, the promise keeper is moving and he's making a way of escape. That mental illness that we talked about at first talks about a tormented mind, which is what the enemy brings. But God's breaking that today. Amen. That mental healing is a, also talks about stress. And let me, sh let me share with you, saints, the evidence of stress, a couple of things that I know. Lack of sleep, always tired. See, we would say, well, I'm not, no, I thought I just wasn't having my vitamins. I thought maybe I wasn't working out. To, no. And they don't, it doesn't come right away. A little, a little seed the enemy puts, a little, a little here and a little there. And pretty soon what, what seems small becomes, what seems small is big. Uh, always tired, strength drained from you. I can't do anymore. And this is the one. This is a good one. Always being upset. Being quick to snap back. Somebody says something to you, man, you don't even keep, God says it's, more, it's better to keep quiet to hear and not speak than to speak out what you shouldn't speak out, right? And so, so all these things, it's, a, it's, it's, it's what stress is bringing. But today and forever, God is releasing his word of promise to us, saints. And his word of promise to us is, for God has not given us a spirit of fear. Say that. God has not given me a spirit of fear. But of power and of love and of a sound mind. That word sound mind 
also means a clear thinking mind. God, through his word, will show you what to do, what direction to take, and what counsel to receive. Because God's about to remove that stress. Being tired all the time, being upset all the time, not knowing what to do, where to go, who to talk to. God said, I'm going to start counseling you here, God is saying. I'm going to remove all that from you because that's not who you are and that's not part of your life. But the only way it can happen is if God does it. Amen? Amen. Now, I thank God for this ministry because it's a ministry of the Holy Spirit. It's not a ministry of man. And God sees your hearts and your minds. Now, I know right now in this sanctuary, there's nobody here that is tormented to where you're insane. I know that. But there is individuals like that. We're going to pray for those individuals. But I know that right now here, there's some of us that do got that stress. I mean, you don't have to raise your hand, but come on, there's, there's, you're, you're feeling tired, fatigued, you're, you're, everything's bothering you, you can't see clearly to where, what decisions to make, where to go, who to talk to, right? These are part of stress, saints, this is part of being obsessed, this is part of what God is talking about, he's bringing a mental healing to us, right? And so, this is what God says to do. And this is what we're going to do. And I pray everybody comes up. But if you can't, that's okay. We understand. Nobody, nobody, nobody can make you do what God wants to do for you. God requires us to just be willing. And how, do you, how many of us know that in order to receive from God, we have to take a step of faith, right? That's what God requires. He goes, look, just take a step of faith. I'll do the rest. So this is what we're going to do, saints. I know we're not towards the end of the service. And I know you're not lining up to pray. But everybody who is experiencing what God is saying, this mental, this mental uh, healing that you need from stress, and you know, part of that stress is worry, fatigue, tiredness, being upset, come up. And we're going to make a line right here. And God is going to declare over your life. If you don't have stress, then stay where you are. But if you say, Lord, I want that healing. I don't want, I want to know what to do. I want to think straight. I want to have direction in my life. I don't want to be tossing and turning at nighttime. I want to sleep an eight, nine hour day and wake up refreshed. And when I get up, God, I want to know what I'm going to do in that day. And when, when the bills come and, the, and, the, and the, the family responsibilities come, I don't want to be stressed out and say, I don't know what to do. I'm going to say, I know what to do. I have a clear thinking mind. I have the mind of Christ. Anybody else? Come up. Come up. Because God's going to move. I'm not going to move. God's going to move, saints. And all that God is requiring is just come up. And we're going to do a little more in this teaching. But God is saying, look, just come up. Say, well, if I say I have stress, I'm not a Christian. No, you're not. If I, stray, if I say I have stress, that means I'm not living right. No, you're not. We're in this world, but we're not of it. How do you know that? How, and many of us know sometimes those things attach themselves to us. And we can't get rid of them if we don't know what it is. But God is saying there is anointing here to break that right now. And so this is what we're going to do, saints. All you need to do is just lift your hands. And I'm going to pray over you right now. Father God, the God of heaven, the God of all creation, the God who is the first and the last, who was and will always be, you said in your word, if your people that are called by your name come to this place when trouble comes in their lives, when the enemy comes at them like a flood, when famine comes and stress comes, you said if we come to this place and lift up our hands and acknowledge you, O oh God, that you will come and deliver your people. So God, creator of all things, through the mighty name of your son Jesus, your people that stand here today that are called by your name, they are renouncing that stress. They are rejecting that stress. And they are declaring that the name of Jesus is written in their hearts. 
and that they have a sound, clear thinking mind. I declare the power of your word to come upon their lives today, O oh God. Let a fresh new anointing of breakthrough come upon them, Lord, and break every curse over their lives. We declare right now, and I speak it over the lives of your people, that they have the mind of Christ. That today they have received their breakthrough. And Lord, right now, let your shalom the peace that surpasses all understanding, come upon your people. And Father, we thank you as we have asked that you have already done it because it is your will that your people have your peace. And all of God's people say amen, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Saints, only, only you're going to know the evidence that God did something for you because you're going to see it in your time this week. I believe already you're going to have a clear thinking mind. I believe already God is going to give you directions on decisions you've been asking of Him. And I truly believe, saints, that you're not going to be upset anymore. You're not going to be tired anymore. You're not going to say, all I need is a one good night's sleep and I'll be good. Because already by the Spirit of God, He has breathed His breath upon you. It's not by chance you're here. You're going to finish this race. And you're not going to be tired when you finish this race. Because I am the God that healeth thee, God says. And I know my God, saints. He's always faithful. He's always on time. And today, there is an anointing being released from God to you to break, to break strongholds, stress, and torment from the mind of God's people. No more delays. The flesh must bow to the name of Jesus. And the inner man is going to arise. Psalm 68 1 says, Let God arise. And let his enemies be scattered. Stress is God's enemy. Mental illness is God's enemy. Deuteronomy 130 says, The Lord your God who goes before you, he will fight for you, saints. This breakthrough anointing, through this breakthrough anointing, you will see clearer spiritually. You will be at rest in God. Psalms 91 verse 1 says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Chaos, pressure, stress, unrest, no rest must go in Jesus' name. It already went. It's already pushed back. Anointing of release, of release to break what the enemy has built up. He's built up stuff in us, saints. Stuff we weren't aware of. But through God's grace and mercy, he's showing us today the light's coming on. Arise and shine for the light has come. The enemy has built up walls and they're coming down. Years of unrest, years of no rest is leaving now, is being evicted from your soul, your mind, and your emotions, there will be peace, saints. Saints, there will be peace in the house of God. Amen. Psalms 91 says, No evil shall befall you, and no plague shall come near your dwelling. There's going to be peace in the house, saints. There's peace in the house, but there's going to be peace in the house. You will experience the peace Jesus spoke about. The peace that never leaves you. His peace. When storms come, peace is there. When fear comes, peace is there. When torment tries to return, peace is there. The Prince of Peace, Jesus, is your foundation He's the one who commands the storms to cease, to stop, 
and to be quiet. So don't you tell me God can't do it. My wife and I were listening to a song by a, a, that young man. We all know the song. He's a mighty young man, uh, Brandon Lake. It's called uh, Too Good Not to Be Good, Not to Be True. Too Good Not to Believe. Too Good to Not to Believe. And he talks in there about what God has done. And, and so he, he's telling people, and God wants you to know this. This is, that should be our declaration. Don't you tell me God can't do it. I've seen a young man go into emergency with so much pain, they didn't know what it was. Three hours later, he walks out by himself. Who let you walk out of emergency? That's... That's the God we serve, saints. That's what we need to start talking about. That's how we need to make declarations. I've seen three months later, another young man in so much pain, he couldn't stand up straight. Go into emergency. Less than one hour, he walks out. No pain. Let's go. Come on. You tell me God can't do it? I've seen... A woman of God, they tell her, oh, high blood pressure for the rest of your life. You're going to have to take all this. You're going to have to take all that. And, you know, you, we listen to the doctors, right? Saints, you got to you take your medication. You know, you got to use some wisdom. But she was believing for a miracle from God. Less than a year later, she went back and they go, we don't see any, any signs of high blood pressure. You don't tell me God can't heal somebody when I've seen it. There was this family believing God for a miracle. And how many of you know that sometimes the nights seem real long before the miracle comes, right? But there was, and this is, this is in all of us. In their lives, there was such a peace and joy and hope that God was going to do it. But they were, they were just waiting and waiting on God. Waiting on God. The next morning as they were getting up for work, before they were even finished preparing to get, go to work, they got a text from the bank that a big amount of money was deposited in their checking account. Come on. Don't you dare tell me God can't do it. I don't care what's going on in your life. God doesn't want your life in chaos or in stress or in worry or mental illness. He does not want it like that. And this song witnessed to me so much. And this young man kept, ed, 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 kept, kept saying, every time he would talk about the testimonies he's saying, he goes, don't you tell me God can't do it. And we need to talk like that. We don't, we, yes, it's okay to, to come before God and, 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 and sometimes we try to explain what's going on in our life. God, you got to move, you got to move. But God is saying, talk about what I've done. That's how I move, God is saying. And, and so, so I'm, I'm hearing this young man say it, and, and just other, other songs started coming to mind. Powerful words of song. And, and there's, a, there's another one that, that is going to go. They say, they say this mountain can't be moved. But they don't know you like I do. We got to talk like that. You know, when I listen to these songs on, on the radio, God, sometimes these words just come out. They say this mountain can't be moved. They say you can't be healed. They say you'll always be in poverty. But they don't know you like I do. We heard a song today as we were coming up. Me and my wife Mary says, you are who you say you are. And you do what you say you do. Come on. We just have to make declarations like that every day of our lives. And God will move, saints. And guess what the enemy do? He will flee. Because, see, the enemy wants you to talk about what he's doing to you. Because then he gets the power. Because you're saying what you have. God said, you turn it around and you're saying what I say. Because when you say what God says, the enemy flees. Jesus said it. Perfect example. It is written, resist the devil and he shall flee. You resist him by speaking the word of God. 
And so I know that God did a work for you when you came up here today. I know he did. And you're going to experience that in your life. You're going to see a difference in your life. The Holy Spirit's going to remind you, remind you, hey, you slept good last night, didn't you? That's right, I did. The Holy Spirit's going to say, hey, you, you know, you're getting some good directions here. Yeah, I, I, never, I never knew I could uh, get that kind of direction from God. Oh, look, and when somebody drops something in the kitchen, you're not getting all upset anymore. You just praise the Lord. Let's clean it up. But this is the God we serve, a God of peace that surrounds us with his peace. And he won't let nobody touch us. But I believe God's requiring something from us, though. We talk about who he is. We talk about who he is. Not what we need, but who he is. When we start talking about who he is, I've seen what he did before. He'll do it again. Me and my wife, were always talking like that. Honey, he did it again. He'll do it. He's the same. He's going to do it a different way, though. He's going to do it a different way, but he's going to do it again. That's my Jesus. That's what he does. Where am I? A wave of the Holy Spirit is coming upon God's people. A wave of peace. God's word to you this day is all the captives will be set free. Exodus 15, 26 says, For I am the Lord who heals you. Receive this word from God this day. Receive it because He loves you. He forgives you, saints. His mercy for you is new every morning. You're forgiven. You're accepted by God just the way you are. God wants you to know that nothing Nothing you have ever done can separate you from his love. Nothing. God loves you just the way you are. You can't change you. He can though. Let him change you. But he loves you just the way you are, saints. Luke 15, 31 says, For he said to him, Son, you are always with me. And all that I have is yours. Another translation says, you have always been with me. And God is saying that to you. You have always been with him. Maybe you haven't been with him, but he's always been with you. And he always watches over you. And he always keeps you safe. Come on, we all have a testimony to talk about what God has done for us personally. And that personal testimony is what sets us free because the Bible says that truth is what sets you free. That is such a truth that you know it, it's not a lie. I was there. Now I know where I'm at. Because of Jesus, healing is here. Restoration is here. And forgiveness is is available. Jesus said, I came that you may have life and that you may have its fullness. He don't want you to just survive. He wants you to have more and then he wants you to have a little more and then he wants you to have a little more. Why? So that you could be a blesser. Because everything that God has done for you, and some of us have received miraculous supernatural blessings but most of the things God has done for you he's done it through man so if he does it through man he blesses you through man what does he want us to be blessed so that we could be blessers saints because there's a generation that is being raised up that are going to get such a revelation and vision from God that they're going to need support and not just spiritual support but financial support and God is raising you up to be blessers so that you can bless them. And so God wants us, God, God said that Jesus, Jesus said, I came that you may have life and have it in all its fullness. I speak this day in the name of Jesus for every enemy of torment of the mind to be broken. And in Jesus name, I speak peace. I speak to every mind that is stressed. In Jesus' name, 
for stress to go. In Jesus' name, and that's where the key is of the victory. In Jesus' name, there is a release of peace, joy, hope upon you this day. You know what that, G, that, that, that peace and that joy and that hope is? It's a spiritual gift. You can only get it by being born again. And it's something in you that when there's a storm in front of you, something in here tells you you're going to be all right. There is hope to know that your God's going to see you out of it. And then there's a joy in there. And you know what that joy is for? It's for strength. Because the Bible says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. A strength to keep going. Yeah, I don't feel... I don't, there's, there's times when I wasn't feeling good and I'm laying on the couch. Take my aspirins and, and drink my oranges and I'm laying. And I don't feel good. But there's something in me saying, you're going to be all right. Just rest. You're going to be all right. None of us like to be there. But there's a hope and a peace to know we're going to be all right. We're going to be up again and doing again. Why? Because Jesus put that in us. And he wants to let you know, no matter what storms come, you have a peace, you have a hope, and you have a joy in you, saints. And as you receive your breakthrough today, right now, if you say, if you receive this breakthrough right now from God, if you want, if you want this breakthrough that God has for you right now, this is what God's requiring. All he's requiring is this. Just raise your hand, saints. If you want the breakthrough God has for you right now. I know we're all exper expecting breakthroughs. I know God did the stress breakthrough already. He's talking about the breakthrough he's about to. Because when God comes to relieve you from stress, he doesn't just relieve stress and then walk off. He comes down with all of his blessings. He don't open just a little bit of the door. He opens the door wide and he goes, whatever you want, I'll give to you. And so God was instructing me. He says that you receive this breakthrough today right now. If you receive it, you're, if you want to receive this breakthrough, raise your hands to the great I am. That's it. Just raise it. And God knows why you're raising it. That he's the only one that can do it, saints. He made us. You may put your hands down. And now God is requiring something else from us. How many of us know that the enemy will come around at an opportune time? Right? He did with Jesus, right? He left and then he came back and came back and came back. God says, make this bread, make this rock into bread. You know, God says to bow down. Be, he said, bow down before me. But we must maintain this victory by speaking the word of God. And so that we have to declare, because the enemy will try to come again with fear, worry, stress, even physical attacks. And this is how we maintain our victory, saints. First and foremost, always in the name of Jesus. But in the name of Jesus, we command fear to go, if that's what it is. We command torment to go. We command stress to go. To go. And, that we and then we declare, I have a sound mind. I have a clear thinking mind. I have the mind of Christ. And then we declare, because Jesus has given us his peace. And so God is saying to us, and I, and I know by the Spirit of God right now, that everyone here is mature enough, and we know enough of the word to speak these things. And so God is saying, look, there's been a cleaning right now. You're going to get new revelation from me through this breakthrough. I'm going to be able to show you more things now. But the enemy will try and come back with what I set you free from, God is saying. Use my word and he'll flee. And saints, sometimes we don't like to keep doing that. But the more we do, the more we grow. And saints, we're here to help others because others are coming. And they need to know what to do. I'm fearful. I'm stressed. I'm sick. What do I do? Let me tell you what the Word of God says to do. My wife, Pastor Mary, says, what God has done for us, He does through us. 
So when God does something for you, he gives you the ability, the anointing to help others. Imagine if, if we got born again and just went to heaven, nobody would be here. But God says, we're here for this person. You, see, see, saints, when my wife and I, it must have been over 35, 40 years ago, became born again and were brought into this ministry. Imagine if we just got born again and left. We would have never had the opportunity to pray for you guys. But God knew you were coming. And whatever we went through, God says, I'm using that to help them so that you can help, so you can help others. And the greatest thing, saints, about this, and I'm, speaking, and I'm speaking to you younger generations, 30 and under, is you don't have to go through all the stuff we went through because the ground's already been furrowed. The ground's already been turned and settled. Now you're coming and you're reaping the benefits where you did not sow. So the mountains that were going to try to come against you that you had to climb over, you're not going to have to because you're going to get the anointing and the wisdom of God now and you're going to know what to do. So sometimes we don't understand why we go through stuff, but God says there's a bigger picture. I was talking to God. I'm not going to go into the whole story. I was talking to God about, about me, me, me stuff, right? You know, this and that, good stuff, not so good stuff, right? He goes, Dave, it's not all about you. There's a bigger picture here. And that's what God sees. He sees a bigger picture. More souls. And when he said that to me, then I kind of just kept quiet. I go, you're right. He goes, just do what I called you to do. That's all. And so saints, today God is releasing and has released that breakthrough anointing in your life. Today there's no stress. Some of you that haven't been sleeping well, you're going to sleep good. Certain decisions you've been asking God about making, he's going to give you a revelation about it. And the people that would upset you sometimes, they're not going to upset you anymore. Because God put all things back in order. Your spirit man is intact. Your spirit man is what? Isaiah, we read it in Isaiah, uh, Psalm 6, 8. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. For the light has come. And the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Upon you, saints. And what about let God arise and let his enemies stress be scattered. Let God arise and let that poverty be scattered. Come on. Why not start using the scripture like that, saints? Why not start using the enemy? Anything that is God's enemy must scatter. God's just giving you revelation right now. You better, where, you better write that down. Isaiah, uh, Psalm 60, 68, 1. You better write it down and put it somewhere. And when the enemy tries to come, say, you got to scatter because you're God's enemy. They tell you at work, we got to lay off people, not me. I'm a friend of God. The enemy's got to scatter, not me. Amen? Amen? Amen. So praise the Lord. God is good. And saints, I want you to know this, this, this day, God wants you to know, saints, that he has set the captive free. He has made a way where there seems to be no way. And he is going to fulfill what he started in your life. Just rest in Jesus. Receive from Jesus. And I release this word upon my brothers and sisters on live stream right now. That in the name that is above every name. That this mental healing. This burden relief. That has been released right now from the spirit of God. Come upon you. That you would, you would see the evidence of God's peace. And love and joy and hope upon your life. That no weapon formed against you will prosper. And that today, God wants you to know, He fights for you. He battles for you. And we're going to see, we're going to see God move mightily in Jesus' name. I release that to my brothers and sisters on live stream. And in Jesus' name and by the power of the Holy Spirit, the Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. In Jesus' name and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name that's above every name. In Jesus' name.